Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use ClickUp to manage your project. So let's get into it. Now first off, ClickUp is available for free and they allow you 100 megabytes of storage, unlimited tasks, unlimited free plan members, collaborative docs, whiteboards, real-time chat, and so on. And we're going to be using the free version of ClickUp today for this tutorial, but with time, obviously, and according to your needs, maybe you can want or want to upgrade to unlimited or business version or higher than that. So first off, what you need to do is press on sign up over here. Then you're going to enter your email and get started with ClickUp. I already have an account on ClickUp, so I'm just going to log in. And I'm going to start off with a empty workspace just to navigate through with you guys on how to set up your ClickUp account step by step. So ClickUp provides you with a lot of different templates and provides you with separate workspaces. So if you click over here, you're going to see different workspaces and you can separate your work. If you have a different work for school, if you have a different work for your business, if you have a different side hustle, you can separate those things. So I'm just going to press on add workspace. And this is what your welcome account is going to look like. It's going to be looking like because ClickUp is going to ask you to name your workspace. So we're going to name this test. Test one workspace. I'm going to press on next. Then I'm going to select a color for my workspace. And you can add an image as well. I'm just going to continue. You can add how many people you will be working with. You can invite people to your workspace. And do you want to import tasks? And that's it. So now you can see it's going to be empty like this. And then at your left, you have your home section. You have your notifications. If you press on show more, you have goals. Goals are something that you have to add manually on ClickUp. You can't have automated goals. You add them by yourself. Now below that you have your favorite section. So the favorite section is a section where you pin anything that you are constantly accessing. You can pin a board, a list, a workspace, anything of your heart's desire. Now below that is your actual workspace. So we just created this workspace and it's called everything. Now within that workspace we can create different spaces. So first off, if we want to create a new space within our section, we're going to click on new space and you can use a template to get started as well. But templates can be a bit confusing to navigate through at the start. So I'm going to continue with an empty workspace and show you guys how to use the basic functions of ClickUp. So let's just say this is our test and we're going to do a side hustle test okay and we're gonna call it product hunting so everything around product hunting is gonna be placed over here I'm gonna put this green color then I continue with next and I want everyone in the workspace to be able to access that and we're gonna do a custom template so for this what I'm going to do is rename the active statuses so first off we have, we're naming it to ideas and then we're going to add a second status called approved ideas and then add another one changes needed and another one called edited and another one called approved or let's delete the approved section and just have this completed status or you can rename this to approved and then you can add more done status on the premium version so now we're gonna press on next and now we're gonna add and enable our click apps I'm gonna enable all of this stuff 
and then I'm gonna press um press on next I want a list view and I also want a Gantt view and a timeline view then I'm gonna press on review space and here you can see all of your basic details and you can then you create the space so this is how you create your first workspace and you can see over here we have our list and it's only of ideas now you can add more lists as well now if you click on if you click over here this is what is present on our first list if you press over here on these three dots you can duplicate your list as well you can also archive a list that is being completed and you can do automations within your list as well so if you want to add a new list to an already existing workspace so I want another list in my product hunting workspace then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press on this section over here and then list and I can name it posted product so first off we have list number one and I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna rename it into product search so we have our product search list and our products posted but if we press on product hunting all together now we can view both of these at the same time now within our posted products we can add a new different statuses so you can regroup them and manage your statuses so if you click on custom you can add different statuses so here you can here you can change the statuses but I'm gonna use in progress and I'm gonna change this to closed to add tasks you can add them directly from here or you can press on task in the bottom right and then you can add a task let's just say product ABC and you can add a description or the person that is creating this can assign this to a certain person and then they can drag and drop files they can also add a set due date for when this product research needs to be completed and then you can even add tags so I haven't created any tags but you can add urgent tags you can add any kind of specific tags you want you can also estimate the time it should take to complete the task and after that you can even apply a few templates or dependencies so this is a task that depends on multiple people and you can add them on here and after that you just press on create task and after that you can see that your task has been completed or created and here you can also change the priority level urgent high normal low or nothing now you can add more information about your task as well if you just press on this add column and you can add any kind of other information that needs to be displayed on your basic workspace or work area I say if you want a label to be displayed and you can name this as status and now okay so we need to have a higher level to add this but you get the idea so now we have this boarding we have different lists and tasks this is your workspace setting now there are many other settings available on ClickUp so you can see over here we have different workspaces and you can add how many that you want and there are a lot of different things you can do with ClickUp and I cannot transfer any data between different between different workspaces so that is something you need to keep in mind when making different workspaces and for each different workspaces you have different settings so if you want to check out your settings just press on settings there and over here you can add your time tracking apps slack notifications and add your google calendar apple calendar and outlook to your basic workspace so this is just a basic overview of how clickup works and i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to set up your own clickup account and start managing your project Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.